Three ingredient cocktails are one of my favorite type of cocktails because you can't really hide behind anything. All the ingredients stand out and they have to mesh very well together. One of your favorite cocktails is a three ingredient cocktail. Technically it's a two ingredient cocktail. I know more than you. <laughs> so today we're gonna try three really popular bourbons in a cocktail called a brown derby. A cocktail I've never had before. Have you ever had it? No, but I don't like the name. I think it needs a better one. <laughs> it probably does, but too late. <laughs> it's already <laughs> out there. And this book, Three Ingredient Cocktails. This is a fabulous book. I'm not sure why it took us so long to get it. I got it drunk one night and bought it on Amazon. So if you'd like to be drunk and buy it, check out the description below, you can see it. So we found this drink in there and fair warning, I'm not a huge grapefruit juice fan, but I'm willing to try certain drinks. I'm willing to try any drink, <laughs> you know, because that's what professionals do. They try new things and see what they taste like. Right. Which three are we gonna go with today? We have Old Forester. Okay. We have Basil Hayden. Yep. And we have Buffalo Trace. So Old Forester is pretty popular. I know a lot of mixologists like to use that as their well. Really cheap. I believe it's under the $25 price point and it's readily available. Basil Hayden, they changed their label a couple months ago, a couple years ago. And I think it looks cool, and a lot of people really enjoy that. Yep. It's pretty popular at the bar I work at. Buffalo Trace. Pretty hard to find right now, so if you can find a bottle, grab it. $30, not too bad. Which one do we want to try first? I think we should start with the Old Forester. Okay. I'm looking forward to getting into the other Old Forester lineups, because I know there's a lot of them out there. They have a lot of different ones. And which one is this? This is there. There's just... 86 proof straight bourbon. Yep. Yeah. The first bottled bourbon. Interesting. It has a Ooh, normal wow. bourbon smell, but it kind of like has it's a- It's got an apple. Yeah, so it has kind of like a brightness citrus kind of note, and kind of, that would be- Excuse you. Jesus. <laughs> All I smell is apple it, in this. It does have, a, once you said that, it has like a really good tart kind of green apple-ish. Yeah, like Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. It smells great. You almost fell your ass off. Alas, it does not taste like apples. Not at all. <laughs> if it tastes like apples, there's probably something wrong with that bourbon then. <laughs> but it would be so delicious. It's kind of sour on the front notes, yep. but it finishes spicy. Yep. I really need to research what I'm supposed to taste with whiskeys so I have more words to use. But I do... There's a nice char finish mm -hmm. to it. Yes. You know, a light char, nothing too crazy. It finishes pretty sweet for how sour it starts out. Uh, yes, I agree with that. It, I like it. Yeah, it's good. I don't mind it. I like it. This is really the first time I've ever purchased an Old Forester bottle was when we purchased this, so. Interesting. Not a lot of familiarity with it, but I'm looking forward to seeing other items that they have. Yes. Let's do a Basil Hayden. Whoa, you almost splishy splashed that I everywhere. Know. <laughs> And you're a big fan of their toast, or you like their toast. I really enjoyed their toast right. with the old fashioned that I had, because they right. used a pecan demerara mm. syrup, and it kind of tasted like graham crackery or like s'moresy. Right. It's kind of had. It has a similar. I was say similar kind of apple. Yeah, but it's more if we're going apple apple types, it's more of like a red delicious, not necessarily a Granny Smith. Yep, I agree. But I mean, there's other notes in there besides your. I mean, your common bourbon notes, right? We're just kind of picking out some things that are different or unusual in right. this. Right. <laughs> that has a way nutty pecan kind of finish to it. Kind of, yeah. Very Maybe woody. Not, yeah, woody. Maybe not pecan, but I don't know, maybe. I think pecan is kind of the right descriptor. Yeah. Like it doesn't taste like pecans, but it finishes like a pecan, the dryness and the, like the. Just that nuttiness kind yeah. of like, just when you ate a bunch in Thanksgiving time, you know, and, and you kind of had that residue that's like sitting there. what's left in your mouth after you mm -hmm. finish right, eating. That, that kind of salty nuttiness. Yeah, it's sweet, but I feel like this one is a little bit spicier than the Old Forester. Mm -hmm. But overall, I would say it's pretty comparable. It just doesn't, doesn't smell or taste as sour. Right. It's 40%, so it's a little lighter. A little lighter on the ABV side. And then Buffalo Trace. I love that you're just chilling here. All right. No real, there is a little bit of apple here, but not a whole lot. This is more of a citrus bright than yeah, it is an apple bright. 100% agree with that. But I mean, it's kind of there, like candy, like Laffy Taffy's. Mm -hmm. Apple Laffy Taffy's. 
Those are the best ones. <laughs> Buffalo Trace. It yep. has that sour kind of, I don't know what the mash build is, but is definitely on the sour side when it comes to most bourbons I've tried mm -hmm. drink. Yeah, it definitely, it starts sour and it finishes hot and spicy. It's more of a dry flavor than it is sweet. I don't really get a whole lot of sweetness at all, but it's very char on the finish. Yeah, the finish is a lot, is the charriest. Yeah, it has the most, <laughs> the most char, char out of the three for yes. sure. It's like, I feel like the Old Forester is more roasty. Mm -hmm. And then the Basil Hayden is char, but not burnt. Yep. And Buffalo Trace is more of like a charcoal finish. I think these are definitely three good bourbons to have. Yep. You don't need to have them at the same time like we do. Nope. But if you finish one, buy another one. I think they all kind of have similar tastes. Yeah, they it, are. You know? They are very similar. Um, they're uh, they're also very different. But I feel like all of these, if one works in a cocktail, you could and you run out of Old Forester, you could probably swap out either two, and it seems like it would be okay. And that's luckily what we're gonna do today. Let's is find out. Find out in a brown derby. So the original recipe calls for half an ounce of honey syrup at a one to one. Well, I have a three to one honey syrup, so we just did quarter of ounce to compensate for how sweet it would be. So yeah, should be all right, I think. Yeah, you so, shook for a little bit longer to dilute it a little bit more, right? Right, exactly. So I kind of like the color. It has this kind of like apricot kind of color to it. It's almost not good looking, but at least. It's, it's right on the cusp yeah. of unattractive, <laughs> but still looks good. Like me. <laughs> If I don't deny it, I look like a bitch. If I do deny it, <laughs> would I be lying? <laughs> all right. Hmm. They all look the same, so no hints there. Start with Coop. Oh, wild. Interesting. Wow, it's uh, it starts out strong and it ends really flat. Yeah, it's kind of plain. Yeah, it's not what I would expect this drink to taste like at all. I feel like if you, you if we added a couple dashes of grapefruit bitters just to punch mm. it up a little bit, it would help a lot. I think so too. But, but that then would it wouldn't be, be four a, ingredients. Yeah, they wouldn't be a three green <laughs> cocktail. Let's try the next one. This one smells a little bit apple-y. I didn't smell this one. Nah, I might just need the grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> that one finishes better. Okay. Because it finishes with just straight bourbon. Yep. But the longer it sits there, the less I like it. Yeah, it's uh, the bourbon <laughs> hits you at first, and then it turns sour or bitter, like mm -hmm. like a grapefruit would. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. I like that one the most. This one, I feel like the sweetness is balanced a little bit better. You're right. It kind of just it's. It starts and finishes. Strong's not the right word because it's, it's it, it finishes the same. Like it, yep. it comes out of the gates and it's still going. Yes, I guess if that yes. kind of makes sense. Yes, I don't it's really. A, it's not a sprint. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> wow. The cocktail is okay. I think I think if we made some modifications for our own personal taste buds. Yeah, I like I'm, the idea of grapefruit bitters. And grapefruit is a very, in my experience, buying grapefruit to eat and also to juice. You either get some that tastes really, really good or you get some that barely tastes like anything. Right. So who knows what we got right now. Right. 
I, I do think if someone comes in your bar or or not even your bar, but at home, you like grapefruit, but you're not a big bourbon person, I think this might be a good cocktail for you because yeah. the bourbon is, is I, masked more than, let's say, in a whiskey sour. I wholeheartedly disagree. I feel like the bourbon characteristics are a lot more present here than they are in other cocktails. You wanna fight? Yeah, kinda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to why people tune in to see if you get these right or correct. <laughs> or do you tune in to watch us bicker. <laughs> Most people probably just want to watch us bicker. Yeah. My dad is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I don't know. This one is a little tough wrapping in. Not locked in yet. Just thinking. You're just, yeah. So I'm thinking this is the case because the sour is there, the bitter is there, and overall it just kind of tastes like bourbon. Yep. And this one, I feel like with the big char notes that it has, you're going to get the bourbon a lot more forward than you're going to get in the other two. Do you mind? You keep taking sips and I'm trying to taste test. Sorry. I'm pulling out the corn from the bourbon a lot more in this one. You really wanted to stump me with this one, didn't you? No, uh, <laughs> I, I, I did not think this one would be this hard. This is really hard. This is a tough one. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think that's I, that's that's it. If I deliberate anymore, I'm just gonna be drunk and not be able to taste anything <laughs> anyway. Um, you got zero right. You well, had you had one right. I had you? the buffalo trace right. No, you had the the basil, basil Hayden. Hayden. Take the sip this one real quick. Just uh -huh. just sip it, slurp it in your mouth, let it sit there, and then swallow. And tell me you can't taste the pecan and know it's in there. <laughs> kind of, but what I get from this more, I feel like I get a, the sour flavor from what I believe to be Buffalo Trace, but I can see, so this is the Basil Hayden. Yep. Wild. It's crazy, right? Wild, wild, wild. I, would... I don't like Buffalo Trace by itself. I do not. But this yeah. is the third time I think you've made me try Buffalo Trace in a cocktail blind, and I've liked it in the cocktail the most. Yeah, I think so too. I, I don't remember every cocktail that we've done, because there's a video we had to scrap because the audio was just complete garbage. But I wonder, are we always doing sour cocktails and then the sourness from that co from the Buffalo it's Trace in. is playing but in? See, that's, it's wild because this is the sweetest one, mm -hmm. which I mean, in theory, you would think it should be. But I also think in this cocktail, the the taste differences are pretty small between the three of them. Like they're not. Oh yeah, they're. It's not huge. So in this particular cocktail, I don't really think the bourbon matters too much. You just kind of go with the bourbon that you like. Right, but like, as we said, these are also similar by themselves. That's true too. So it it stands to reason that the, the differences in the cocktail wouldn't be that. Right, so like using like a bullet or old granddad. Yeah, like if you were to put old granddad in this, I would be very curious to try it because mm. of how sweet the bourbon is. I almost feel like it would end up more on the flat side or on the, on the, just dull. I definitely think if you like grapefruit juice, I think you'll probably like this cocktail. It it kind of stands differently. I think if we try it with uh, grapefruit bitters, I think that'll yes. make it a little punchier, get yes. a little bit more depth inside of it. But like I said, it's an okay cocktail. I'll probably maybe make this for a couple of people at work, like with customers who come bitters, in yeah. who like grapefruit, you know, so you want to try this and see what they think. Cause I think this is like, some people are just gonna really love it. Go ahead and give this, uh, cocktail a try. So back in December, we did three local bourbons to us. That was a great episode. We had the educated bar fly guys here. It was fun times. Go check that out. And yeah, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.